guys, welcome to the studio. Today we'll be doing a project inspired by one of my favorite artists, Vincent Van Gogh. We'll be using oil pastels to create our artwork today and we'll be experimenting with dashes of color and mixing those together to create that great texture that Van Gogh is known for. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to begin, I'm using black paper. And like I said earlier, you can use um, white paper. I just like the way that the black shows through with oil pastel. It kind of gives it a more finished look. Um, I would start out by kind of just drawing out your design. And what I'm going to place where Van Gogh's cypress trees are right here in his picture is I'm going to place a landmark. Um, and you could do like any city you wanted to. But we are going to pretend we are in Paris for today. And I'm going to do the Eiffel Tower. Um, but you could do like the Clock Tower Big Ben from London. You could do Taj Mahal. There's like so many different things. You could do a building, um, you know, that's in your city. Okay, so I went back and traced over this um, with a white colored pencil to help it show up a little bit better. So you could see as I start working with the oil pastels um, exactly what I'm doing. We're going to consider at this point, we're going to be using oil pastels to get that texture that Van Gogh um, is so well known for. And if you're not familiar with texture, it's just how something feels or looks like it would feel. And his paintings seem to have a lot of movement. And so when we use the oil pastels to color in the sky, we're going to follow the flow of the spiral lines we created to give that sense of movement. Um, and when we use the oil pastels, we're going to be mixing colors. And so you need to do a little bit of planning before you get started so that your colors work out right. And if you have a color wheel available, um, you can look at it in an easy way um, to create a Starry Night painting with colors that will work is to choose an analogous color scheme. And an analogous color scheme is just a group of colors that sit side by side one another on the color wheel. And so like this is an example right here because we see those colors grouped together right there. So you just want to make sure I would pick like at least um, five colors. Um, that are in a row and I'm going to use I think this side of the color wheel and what I like to do is go through my oil pastels and just lay out the colors that I have that are in that section of the color wheel because those are my um, colors that I can use and it kind of helps to see them. After you lay those out you're also gonna want to add a black and a white so that you can create darker and lighter um, values and shades in your picture. And so I'm also, I may use some yellow in with mine also and carry it from there to there. So I'm kind of using half of the color wheel and I've got a different purple there. Okay, so at this point, now that I've chosen my analogous color scheme, I am ready to consider um, which areas I want to be darker and which will be lighter. In some places I'll add white to lighten it up. In some places I'll add the black to make it darker. Um, in the sky... I'm going to stick with maybe purple and red. Um, 
with some black and I may use this kind of reddish orange too. had fun creating your own version of Starry Night. I'd love for you to check out one of my other videos that highlights some of my favorite artists. It'd be a great source of inspiration. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more creative content. Thanks.